Hello! Today I am sharing a class one song with you and the actions in the song require us to cross our midline. Now the midline is an imaginary line that runs from the top of our body all the way down to the bottom and it divides the body into two equal parts. Now what's the significance of crossing the midline? Well, crossing the midline is essentially if I have my right hand and I take it over to the left side, that is I've crossed the midline. And I can do that with my legs as well. So I can take my left leg and I could cross it over the midline, take it over to the right hand side. When we are crossing the midline, we're using both sides of our brain. And complex activities usually require us to use both sides of our brain. So we practice as much as possible within circle time, crossing the midline to help us out with activities such as reading and writing. So in Waldorf, class one is the first time that children are formally taught to read and write. And so to assist them with this, we practice crossing the midline because when you're writing, um, I'll just move back so that you can see if this, this is my right hand, I am right handed. When I start writing, I write from left to right. So I will start here, I'm crossing the midline. So for me to be able to write without having to bring my book in front of me, um, I need to be able to cross the midline. It's the same with reading, our eyes move across the page and so they cross the midline to be able to read. Um, so for ease of reading and writing, we really need to be able to cross the midline. And so in class one, we do lots of circle time songs and circle time activities, such as clapping games as well, where we cross the midline, which helps with our reading and writing. So now onto this song, we usually sing it after our good morning song. We then start this. So it's round and round the earth. And that is you cross over the left over the right foot and then you bring out the right foot and then you cross over again so round and round so it's the left foot that is always going behind then the right uncrosses and then the right goes forward again so it's backwards open forwards it's really hard for me to show here i realized when i started recording it that going round in a circle is quite hard you can't see i'll try and stand back as much as possible and try it again Round and round the earth is turning, turning always into morning and from morning into night. Now, when I taught my son this, he was finding it quite difficult. So we removed the words and instead of singing round and round the earth is turning, I used front and back and front and back and front and back and front and back and, back and, back and. so and was where we open up our legs and then front, back. So it's always the left leg that's moving and front and the, and the right leg just opens up on and. It only moves on and back and front and back and front and back and front and back. So the song is round and round the earth is turning, turning always into morning and from morning into night. 
So it's a lovely song to do after the good morning song. Um, and as I said, there's lots of crossing of the midline, which helps with their reading and writing. Um, I know that you couldn't really see me. I will try and record it again if that wasn't good enough. Um, it's just that my children are in the living room, they're awake, um, it's only evening here and I really wanted to record this and upload it onto YouTube and I didn't quite realise how tight the space was there and also how far back I would need the camera to be for you to be able to see my feet. But I will try and record it again, maybe in circle time when my son and I are doing it, I can record his foot movements and I will share them um, to make it clearer. But I hope you've enjoyed this video and I hope you find it useful. Thank you. Bye bye.